What's going on everyone? Welcome to Make Thrift Try number six is what we're up to now. This series is where I give a bunch of sewing challenges to you, the community. You vote on the one that's your favorite and then you make some cool crafts and then I show them off in this video here. That is the gist of it. This challenge has been going a little longer than intended. Anyway, thank you everyone for being patient with this challenge. For number six, we actually had two challenges. One was scrap fabrics and the other was nautical theme. I've so enjoyed going through the Make Thrift Try tag and seeing everyone's entries, but as always, I've got a limited time here. I don't want to have to record for about uh, the 10 hours it would take to go through all of these with the love and care that they deserve. So I'm just going to be picking 10 of my favorites from Scrap Fabrics and 10 of my favorites from the nautical theme and then include some others that I adored at the end of the video. So let's start with Scrap Fabrics. Find Me Sewing has created the cutest patchwork coat, cardigan? What do you call a thing? I guess cardigan, right? What have you called it? Oh, a walking blanket? Yeah, okay. I agree. You look so cozy. I love how you've used scrap fabrics that are not like super similar in pattern, but they are all around the same color scheme. So they really work super well together. Oh my gosh, it's reversible. What does the other side look like? Oh, it's just all like, is it like a blanket material on the other side or corduroy or something like that? Whoa, this is so cool. I need to learn how to quilt because I really want to make this, but it seems like you might need some sort of quilting skills. Hey, at least I know how to do inset corners now. That's a big step on my way to becoming a quilter. A big shout out to Aurora Bell Fashion for not only making this amazing dress out of a bed sheet, but also having this challenge up like almost as soon as I had posted the last video. This dress has a beautiful retro feel and an amazing circle skirt, which must be so fun for twirling around in. Also, they used the same book that I have been using in this uh, uh, series where I'm trying to recreate patterns from this badly translated book from the 80s. And look at this lace that they attached to the bottom of the dress. It makes it just perfectly grunny chic and it was such an inspired touch. Oh my god, look at this! Oh, it's so cute! Now, I don't love the idea of animals in circuses, but this one's felt it's not harming any actual animals and <laughs> it's adorable. Look at its little hat and its little ball and it's, oh, it's a little party elephant. This person also said, fact, did you know elephants enjoy alcohol? I did not. That's amazing. What a good use for scrap bits of felt. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, sleepy puppy. They called it a Hagrid's hut, little dog bed that holy crap, it's Joe has made their gorgeous sleepy pup. Apparently their dog was immediately obsessed with it. Everything about this is beautiful and perfect. And apparently they've even done a YouTube tutorial about how they made it. So if you want to find that, their Instagram is holy crap with two Ps, it's Joe. Please give your dog a cuddle for me. There have been some amazing scrap fabric blankets that people have made for this challenge. Quilters, y'all are amazing. I would never have the patience for this. So this gorgeous blue themed one was made for their sister, so sweet, by Handmade by Sophie. And by making this quilt, they also used up <laughs> scrap fabric that was left over in their bedroom closet, under their bed, under a sofa, and in kitchen cabinets. Big mood. Apparently they only have one box left now and I am jealous because this is my scrap basket right now. This is incredible. So many little squares. And they were all made from t-shirts. So, uh, stretchy fabric. I don't understand how you did this, but it's incredible. And that's gonna be an amazing heirloom to have for years to come. Crafting and sewing, this is such an achievement. Crafting and sewing actually did a second one with the logos from t-shirts as well. Whoa, what a good, wow, wow, wow. What a good way to show off all your old logos and band t-shirts by making an entire blanket out of them. That's so cool. Hold up everyone, they did a third one. I am very intimidated by your amazing sewing. What the heck? This one has a bunch of like musical t-shirts on it from various musicals and a bunch of different staff t-shirts for festivals and stuff. What a cool way to remember these things instead of having them just like lost in a cupboard somewhere. I don't even know what to say. You're amazing. And then we've also got Loopy Cosplay who's also made a scrap quilt using just like all different types of scrap pieces, but it's amazing how cohesive it looks as a whole with the, the same borders around all of the different scrap pieces and the same fabric around all the different scrap 
like squares. This is really cleverly done. Make Me Cookies 90 is becoming somewhat of a regular on these challenges, but what they make is so cool. Like I just have to keep featuring them. So what they did was make four different panels out of all their scraps. So I'm guessing sewed all the scraps together first and then cut them all into a maxi skirt and sewed them together. Wow. What a twirly skirt. If I met you in person and you're wearing this, I would spend like a good 10 minutes just looking at all the different fabric scraps you've used. <gasps> Are those pockets? Did you put in big pockets? Yes. Much approved. Matching bunny harness and top. Oh, so cute. This person turned a thrifted gingham shirt into not only this cute top for themselves, and it looks like also a scrunchie as well, but also this little harness slash, or is it a, oh, it's a neckerchief. This neckerchief for their pet bunny that they're taking for a walk. Oh, this is adorable. I love everything about this. I love the gingham, I love the bunny, and I love that you're matching and everything you're wearing is made out of this one shirt. That is super thrifty and so cool. Can we please be friends? Thank you. Oh yay, here's some crochet. Oh, it's crafting and sewing again. Oh my gosh. You are prolific. <laughs> so this is a crochet blanket with a corner to corner pattern from different yarn scraps with such a pretty knit. What are you doing with all these blankets, by the way? Do you just live in the coziest house ever wrapped up in blankets all the time? I hope you live somewhere cold. In any case, wow, you are ridiculously prolific and talented. This is amazing. Sophia Logan 200 has made these really freaking cool embroidery hoops using scrap fabric as the base and then painting on and also using yarn to create the texture of the sweater and the hair and then doing beadwork as well. And this thing in the hair here is apparently an old brooch, which looks like such a cool vintage hair ornament. This is so creative. And then they've also done a second one here, which is so cool. And it looks like they started a whole series of them as well. Wow, these are amazing. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my God, it looks like it's throwing up the pants. So this was made out of a part of this person's grandfather's old t-shirt um, using a pattern from Patchwork Posse. Is this just me or does this shark look really goofy? I think the way its mouth is open here just makes it look like it's having a good old chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how the zipper kind of creates like little teeth, but very little teeth for a shark, which makes it look quite harmless. <laughs> I love this little guy. Well, this is straight out of a Pinterest catalog, Elisa Prince. They made this cushion here with matching buttons using a button covering machine they have at their work. And wow, this corner of your home is beautiful. Can you come over and design my home for me, please? This is awesome. I wish I could show off more, but we have uh, the nautical theme to get to now and oh my gosh am I excited about this one there are some there is some amazing stuff in here that I can't wait to show you so apparently I announced this round of make thrift try before Halloween <laughs> but look at these these were for a King Triton costume and they use circle skirt technique for the um, flares at the bottom which is actually really smart they look so good and this is what the final outfits look like oh Wow, you're such a cute family. These are amazing costumes. Please tell me these are not just worn on Halloween. They would just make an amazing wardrobe staple. <laughs> For someone who's obviously got like a very outlandish sense of fashion, but I hope that is your, is this your partner? I hope that's your partner's fashion sense. Cause it makes me a little bit sad to think that these aren't worn year round. Wow, good work Felice's happy designs. These are amazing. Okay, this crochet blanket by Patty Patty Crochet. Wow, this is such a cool idea. I forget what this stitch is called. It's like a chevron type of stitch, right? But those waves look, they look amazing. I love how you have um, interspersed the blue with some white. Like those waves look so foamy and good for swimming in. And little shells and starfish. This is, oh, I love this. I'm loving this outfit from MN Seamstress. The skirt is what they have made. And apparently the um, pattern is free. It's called the Betty Skirt by Rebecca Page. And this outfit is amazingly retro, 50s nautical. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow. Look at this octopus hat. Oh, it's like there's a giant octopus on your head. Look at its 
bobbly little eyeballs. Oh, I love octopuses, they're so smart. Apparently this pattern is from Ravelry, but check out Martina Duratner's account if you wanna like know more of the details on it because they left a URL to it. How cute are you? This is the coolest beanie. We've got another gorgeous Pinterest worthy lounge set up here, but this time make it nautical. Look at this gorgeous whale by Lily Dawes and Sews. And it's made out of denim scraps as well. So you kind of like fulfilled both themes. Extra points for you. There's no points to this, Annika, stop saying that. And I love that you used the different sides of the denim, like the lighter side on the inside of the jeans to make like a contrasting effect of the like lighter underside of the whale's belly. That's really freaking creative. And such a good use of just one pair of jeans. All right, so the same person who did those amazing Triton pants also did the coolest nautical themed upcycle on these Converse shoes. You ready for it? Before? After, I love me a good before and after shot. They were apparently spray painted yellow. The flounder patches came from a vintage sheet. So, oh my gosh, you also satisfied both requirements. And then the blue shoelaces as well, contrasting with the yellow are just a perfect touch. This is such a simple, but super effective upcycle. I love it when people paint on the back of denim jackets. It always looks so cool. This one from Go Fancy Upcycling is amazing. And I love that you've gone with a more cartoony style of waves. It looks so awesome. <laughs> cute okay i think this is not yep yeah. this is another halloween costume this person made this for their brother which adorable and this is man ray from spongebob squarepants and check this out the boots are made from plastic two liter bottles duct tape and hope <laughs> would they have been comfortable at all to walk in who knows? Does it matter? No, because the outfit looks amazing. I love these progress photos that you've added as well. And something that I really love about this costume is that apparently the mouth part is Velcroed on so it can be either worn in happy mode or it can be turned upside down for a grumpy face, which I just love that so much. Yoko's Corner, this is so inventive and so sweet that you made it for your brother as well. Hope you appreciated it. These are really subtly nautical, but I wanted to share them um, nonetheless because I think they were executed perfectly. This pair of pants comes from Elisa Print. Using this really cool pinstripe fabric and these pockets, oh, these pockets. Look at this embroidery work from Forest Green Creations. Wow, that must have taken a while. Oh, you don't really associate the colors red, orange, and yellow with jellyfish, but this works perfectly in this case. I adore this nautical theme top by Am I a Fairy Princess yet? I love your account name. And I just love the entire like styling of this look as well. Oh, it's not just a top, it's actually a dress. Oh, wow. Damn. I just absolutely adore your whole 20s aesthetic going on here as well. Oh, the hat, little magnifying glass. <laughs> you look like the coolest murder mystery detective. Apparently they also made the shawl and the necklace that I assume that means the thing that the little magnifying glass is on too. So cool. Someone else made a shark pencil case. Thank you, Edith Creevy. You have made my day. <laughs> and then also in the realm of nautical themed clothes, we have this stripy top from Atelier Coscos. The sleeves on this are so cute. Oh wow, you look so good in this. That is a very nice shirt. <laughs> So Tamara IPI has um, taken something that I said in one of my posts. I offhandedly made a comment about a bag shaped like a lobster and what they have made is a lobster bag. So they created a lobster based on this drawing here and then made one out of fabric and looks like they stuffed it as well and made it 3D. That's such a cool idea. And then added the lobster bits and yeah, put it on a tote bag, which is really cool. Oh, and look, look. So the claws become part of the straps. It looks like the claws are holding the straps. Oh, that's so good. And the tail, it actually unbuttons and that's how you open up the pocket at the bottom of the bag. Wow, so cool. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> Thank you for taking my suggestions, literally. I am so happy to see a lobster bag. As always, there are 100 plus posts for the Make Thrift Try 6 tag, and I have not gotten through even like more than a fifth of them. Hi, future Annika here. Well, past Annika for those of you still watching. I'm just future Annika relative to the other past Annika that you were just watching that lucky pre-isolation Annika. Hello, I'm succumbing to isolation madness. Which kind of relates to what I'm gonna talk about. Instead of continuing just the Make Thrift Try Challenge, I have decided to run a series of sewing prompts under the hashtag social isolation. Yes, it is hilarious. Bow down to my 
punniness. Let's all try to avoid isolation madness together. With craft, social isolation is 40 different sewing prompts to inspire a variety of different sewing projects, a lot of which can be completed with scrap fabric stashes or small amounts of fabric in a dwindling stash, a lot of different projects for home decor and improvement, as it's good self-care to make your space as nice as possible when you spend a lot of time in it. Trust me as a person who has to do this a lot being chronically ill. I also tried to make them as gender neutral as possible and easy to make so that you can kind of, you can do them in an afternoon if you're an experienced sewer or they're not too hard if you're a beginning sewer. For the social isolation prompts there are things like pattern weights, which I really need to make and if this doesn't inspire me to make pattern weights, nothing will. Make your own bias tape, make coasters, scrap scrunchies, rag rugs, book covers, DIY house slippers. I actually already launched this on my Instagram account a about a week ago and some people have already made some really awesome things. A silly thing I did with the prompts however was to include scrap scrunchies on there twice and so I thought okay then for this video we'll replace one of those with a prompt voted on by the community just like a make thrift try challenge. So what will prompt number 22 be? You decide. Will it be using dyes to bring something old back to life? A 1970s theme? 70s themed decor, clothing, or whatever else you can think of. Repair, so fixing something that's broken from adding buttons to entire upcycled reconstruction. And the last one, angsty crafts. Thought this idea could be cathartic, whether it be a sweary cross stitch, mean spirited pattern weights, or a grumpy crochet animal. Using the eye in the corner, whichever one it is, pick your favorite and uh, it'll become the new prompt number 22. But there's 39 other prompts on this list I made, so feel free to jump in right now. I have been doing this on Instagram so far, and that's the place I'm most likely to see the posts tag me. But feel free to join in anywhere else that hashtags work. And if you don't like the look of these prompts, I have many other DIY clothing projects that you can follow here on my channel, and a beginner's playlist and resource for anybody just starting out and wanting to know what kind of projects they should be starting on. Thanks for watching. I hope you all got some DIY inspiration from that. Stay safe and stay crafty. Bye.